Sunday marks 100 years since an angry racist mob invaded and destroyed the town of Rosewood. This happened as a white woman falsely accused a black man of assaulting her. You know, Rosewood was a, a thriving, predominantly black town in rural Levy County, not far from Gainesville. And during the course of several days, starting on New Year's Day in 1993, the mob killed Rosewood citizens, burned homes and buildings to the ground. The incident was actually the subject of a 1997 movie directed by John Singleton. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding is joining us now. And Ashley, you spoke to a woman whose aunt survived the massacre. It's absolutely an amazing story, you guys. So Lizzie Jenkins' aunt was actually the town's school teacher, and Jenkins started a foundation called the Real Rosewood Foundation to help preserve the town's history. Now, in the years after the massacre, survivors largely stayed silent. There's a lot of people, even those here in Florida, who do not know that this happened. Jenkins believes it's especially important that people know the truth. This has been my life's journey. Rosewood. A historical marker, a single home, a small road sign. This is all that remains of Rosewood, a once thriving town. Working people, everybody worked. Everybody got along. They helped each other. And it was a beautiful town. For Lizzie Jenkins, Rosewood is more than a forgotten town. It's the fabric of her family's history, starting with her aunt Mayhulda Gussie Brown Carrier, the town school teacher, and Mayhulda's husband, Aaron Carrier. Their picture-perfect life changed in an instant. Until January 1, 1923, when Fanny Taylor, who was a resident of Sumner, accused my uncle of assaulting her on January 1. However, her lover or the man that attacked her or bruised her was a white man. Within hours, that accusation ignited an angry mob. It invaded and attacked Rosewood. Burned it to the ground, and there were approximately five blacks killed. As the chaos ensued, a white merchant named John Wright sheltered survivors inside his home. It's the only house still standing today. Even years later, Jenkins remembers her aunt living in unspeakable fear. One story from her childhood still fresh in her memory. She heard a car, a truck. She jumped up from the sewing machine and ran to the room, which left me, a little girl, baffled. What happened? watching her movement and her facial expression. I knew something was wrong. I heard my mother say, and I remember these words today, the coast is clear. I, I had no idea what that meant when my mother said it. Lizzie Jenkins tells me one of her main goals is to relocate the John Wright house to Archer, Florida. That's where her mother and her aunt grew up. Until then, she continues her life's work, fulfilling a promise to share Rosewood's history and honor those who died a century ago. It's our history, and we need to appreciate it and appreciate the people that contributed so much. Until then, things are not going to change. And Jenkins tells me on January 7th, there is going to be a ceremony marking Rosewood's centennial. There's going to be music, of course, prayer, reflection, and speakers. Now, she also says a gala is being planned for later in the year. Now, donations are also being accepted for the Wright House's relocation project. The link is posted on our website, newsforjacks.com. It's hard to believe that those kinds of things happened in our country, just in general, yeah. right? Oh, were there ever any reparations for the victims of Rosewood, Ashley? Yeah, I'm glad you guys asked that. There were, but you know, it just took a very long time, roughly 70 years in the early 1990s, for lawmakers passed legislation that did provide compensation for survivors, and it also established a scholarship but again, the human cost of this tragedy, you guys, and you saw in the video there, the town of Rosewood itself never recovered. What you saw there is what's left of it. And still a very important story to tell. You know, if we don't know our history, we're doomed to repeat it. Right. Yeah, that's such a good point. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you.